A couple of other bits this week. I just want to talk about the the safe standing, um, the safe standing area, which is going to span the whole of the northern stand from I think blocks thirty eight to forty eight. Some pictures from the the women's game today. Looks like the work's already started. This is going to be potentially your seat for the next home game, Steve. As well, they've been putting the rails in already to to get ahead of the curve. Yeah, it, it looks as if there's um, I think thirteen rows of um, rows of rails that I counted on on some of the photos that have been doing the rounds. Um, so if so, I think my row will just about fit in there on on double A. So um, yeah, I'll I'll have something to lean on, which will be which will be nice for my uh, my aging limbs. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's good that the club's just getting on with things. Um, it does seem as if it's a relatively quick and quick and straightforward process well i hadn't realized i thought they would actually have to like swap out the i thought it was a different kind of seat but from the pictures they they've literally just glued metal rails to the seats that are already there it looks it's pretty straightforward as you say yeah so basically um yeah i mean obviously what you will have seen on all of the the old sort of demos of the of the rail seating is Mm. like the the continental um seats which are basically metal and they're just dead flat and they just Right. Um, flip up and down as and they but more importantly they actually lock into place so they lock out um for um for domestic this was like particularly in germany where uh, um where obviously they've got safe standing throughout uh basically all of all of the all of the leagues mm. but up until this season in uefa competitions you weren't allowed them you had to you had to replace them with seats so literally for um for european games the seats are locked locked down in place so you basically don't really have an awful lot of choice other than to vaguely sit in it um that's where but, my confusions come from then yeah. i've seen kind of like the so, early prototypes of the safe standing and i i actually thought there was quite a bit of work and, and maybe yeah, that's so why they're getting ahead so of there's the um yeah i mean Car- so cardiff have got safe standing so most most of the away end um yesterday was uh was safe standing with with the rails and yeah literally all they've done is they've they've installed installed the rails basically at the same um the same depth as as each of the rows of seats so the person behind can just stand and lean on it um and um yeah it goes literally from from front to back so i imagine after the i mean unless they're doing more during the week mm. um i imagine it's probably just the the back sort of 13 rows or so that have that have got it for the for the stoke game this week for now yeah um but then after that they can then um go full steam ahead with with all the rest of it mm. that's so where the I money play off, play off, playoff game will have will have a full um safe standing end maybe interesting go on glenn sorry now i said how high are the actual rails that are in front of you when you're standing uh so when you're standing it's kind of it's basically at sort of chest high so you can kind of lean on it right it's just fairly high yeah Oh, so you can sort of lean, lean with your arms folded, sort of. Uh, and... Yeah, it's kind of sort yeah. of yeah, just with your head in your hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm very short, right. people, yeah. short people are going to struggle. <laughs> very apt, for, very apt for yesterday. That there's um there's a lot of uh, money being spent elsewhere around the ground as well, Alfie. That was the the, the story this week. Not only the the northern stand, but it, it sounds like obviously the away fans are are moving. We know that that's been confirmed, and and that is potentially where all the money's going to be spent and that they're, they're trying to enhance the atmosphere of the stadium as best they can. Yeah, but also things like um, food and drink and, and catering and whatnot, they're going to be obviously opening up um, outdoor areas that you can go to at halftime and things like that. So, you know, number one, to get people into the stadium probably earlier, spending a bit more cash. Um, but also, because I just think at the moment, there's probably just not enough facilities for, you know, mm. if you want to go and get a pint at halftime now, it's an absolute nightmare. So they're just hoping to improve that kind of thing. There'll probably be some, you know, little things that don't matter too much, but are a bit of a boost, like screens and stuff going up like that. They're just hoping to improve the overall experience of the stadium, which I'm all for. I know that obviously um, it's a, a bit divisive at the moment in terms of moving people around, and it's always a, it's always a bugger if you have to, to move from your seat. Mm. And I know that Glenn's obviously going to be one of those. Um, mm. So I feel for those people, but I think that you know, realistically, to expect everything to stay exactly the same forever is, um, you know, is, is not likely. But I think there's probably been a couple that have been moved a couple of times um, in in quick succession. But yeah, by the sounds of it, hopefully St. Mary's will be a better stadium um, next season than it has been for the last few years. 
for some of the uh, the external concerts as well. I like, guess so I remember like the the Killers gig and just not being able to get a pint because it was so busy. Mm. It was just you just think it's it's an opportunity to make some money and they they haven't been making the most of it. So um, you can kind of see what they're doing there. But yeah, Glenn, our block, you and I, we're going to have to move um, because that's where the family yep. area is going to be. What are your Indeed. thoughts on that? Because I, you know, I'm kind of like, well, do I want to go in the northern end? Do, do I want to stand and or do I want to see what they offer? Because it looks like there's going to be a, a price increase as well. They're talking about. 10 to, to 15 percent they've been well about that they've been upfront it, about that but it's going to cost us more well, at the moment blocks 11 to 15 i think it is are the designated in the premier league they were 399 pound for the adult seat and last last year it was 349 so that's considerably cheaper than um, elsewhere in the ground and that was sort of triumphed as a sort of policy you know the, the club could say we've got these cheap season mm. tickets and uh that happens to be the sort of place I'm sat in now. So they're not going to be able to pick up four blocks and put them somewhere else because obviously there's going to be people still remaining from... So I, it'd be interesting to see how that works out. So we've got the kind of... the, the mystery of uh, waiting to see... waiting until it's confirmed what division we're in before we find yes. out what um, yeah. what, pr what prices are going to be. So it's interesting. I mean, I, I don't have too much choice because, you know on many occasions I still go with my dad and he's nearly 80 and mm. he ain't going to be standing up for, for 90 minutes. So, um, you know, if it, if, if it was me, I'm just about young enough to still be able to stand up for 90 minutes. So, um, that's, that's fine. But, uh, so I don't have a lot of choice. So I think, yeah, I think it's, it's gonna, it's gonna cost a fair bit more money next year, which you, you kind of expect. Um, but it's, is it going to be 10% or is it going to be 35%? You know, that's mm. the, um, that that's the thing that is still to be revealed with the uh, mm. with the uh, pricing. I think I don't really see why they couldn't have released the the pricing for the rest of the ground. Um, you know, at the time that it was all announced, but uh, you probably but there you there's one or two reasons. Either one, they want to get people into the northern um, with the you know yeah. the the carrot of the you know these are going to be the cheapest ones that we do offer. So come and join us, and you know probably as well if they're going to be in the Premier League or the Championship, I would imagine it wouldn't be a surprise if the pricing was slightly different. Um, to be fair, yeah. just in terms of the offering, so maybe there's things like that that are at play. Yeah, so I mean, it could it could work out well for everybody, but it. <laughs> I think if you're in the uh, the block eleven to fifteen at the moment, I think you're going to end up paying considerably more money. I don't really see how it's uh, how that's not how that's going to be avoided, but we shall see. Maybe we'll be surprised. But, yeah, um, we might be pleasantly surprised. You don't know. We'll wait for that email.